Ahoy, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your February 2024 reading. Let's get into the energies. I'm a channeler, just so you know, uh, we're working with the energy. So I'm going to pull a um, monthly spread for you. Okay, you're going to be all right. There's something you're worried about, Cancer. You're going to be fine, okay? There's something on your mind. Um, whatever that is, you're not going to be um, dealing with it, maybe in the way that you think you will be dealing with it. At the time or in the way that you think you'll be dealing with it, if that um, cleared on the right side of body. Uh-huh. Something or someone's going to come in um, that changes the game for you. Whatever that is on your mind um, that you're concerned about. Okay, and, and this is a general video, of course, but I don't see you need to be as worried about it as you are. Some of you think that someone doesn't find you um, attractive it's not further from the truth alright so um, there is a king of wands here showing up for you dear cancer this person is in your life um, and the role in your life is, is going to um, be more important as time goes on and I, I feel like you will be alleviated to know that but right now like it feels like this person is like not into you or something even but they are I hear that and they're gonna uh, appear they're gonna make themselves known like you're gonna realize just how much this person likes you they're, this person is gonna come forward we have Gemini coming in and that king of wands from the oracle and you make me feel like a creep oh some of you that could be you thinking that maybe like you're the only one that likes them like that no not true like this person does feel the same way back to you okay uh some of you maybe you feel you're the only one creeping on them or that you're feeling weird because you're like have a crush on them like that no like this person it's mutual we have libra a lot of air wow so yeah um you may be pleasantly surprised to know that it's mutual. Again, we have Scorpio and memory lane always takes me back to your place. Lover as well in reverse. I think this is someone who's crushing on you. It could be a friend. They have more than just like a friend crush on you. It's like uh, in your eyes, they see their future is what I hear. And uh, maybe they're ashamed of that. They feel return the energy, clear the energy in the heart chakra. They feel um, a little bit like responsible for what they feel for you in a way that's like um they feel they're not doing with it what they should be maybe they like you a lot um but but they're sort of um i'm hearing the name gary they're doing something that they feel is not right maybe they're fantasizing about you and they're like why i shouldn't be doing this that's what i'm hearing now let's get further they think you're very attractive they could feel that you deserve someone better than them even. Like, they don't know. Like, they don't like that they're projecting this energy onto you. I see 444 right there. Yeah, this person is being guided to you as well. Like, maybe they've noticed that they can't, like, get you off their mind. I think this person's going to talk to you, okay? They're going to write you up. They're going to write you a, uh, yeah. Some of you, they want to, like, um, they just want to stop worrying about how they feel about you. Um, 
they don't want to be thinking about this anymore, okay? They want to get this off their chest. They want to just get it off of their chest, the heart. They want to know how you feel about them. It's like I'm tired of just, like, being in my mind. This person maybe is having a lot of um, fantasies as well, and they want to know, like, you feel the same way, all okay, right, with the whip. <laughs> um, maybe they feel there's a lot of chemistry. It's like, yeah, there's, a like, a boner situation going on here. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of phallic imagery. Um, just clear to them, yeah. The young man. So can I get a little bit more on this uh, on this individual for the querent spirit? They think about you when they're alone. Eight of Swords, Justice in Reverse. They've never been in a relationship for some of you. That You would be their first like real relationship. They've never been in a relationship with someone who um, they liked this much. Some of you, they haven't been in a relationship for many, many years. Some of you, they may be divorced. Um, some of you, this person, they were cheated on, guys. And uh, they, you know, it's been a while since they were ever considering being in a relationship again. And you really open that door for them. I feel like this person, maybe that's the guilt energy or the five of cups energy. Like, in a way, when they are passionate about you and they have thoughts like that about you, then they think of this time, uh, that maybe the last time that they were interested in someone, this this breakup energy, okay? It's like, why am I... I don't want to put myself in this... Um, well, I don't, I don't want to, <clears throat> like feel responsible again i hear it like that maybe maybe they feel um like emotionally uh on the line and they feel like the smart thing to do is to just kind of not um uh, problem problematic uh problematize their world okay so they wanted to maybe live a simple life can i get a little bit more on this king of wands that is interested in cancer please spirit yeah, but they can't lie. Uh, this person honestly is going crazy. So you're probably picking up on their energy. Um, they try to keep it neutral. They can't. They can't just see you as a friend. They've decided, like, absolutely not. Uh, not going to work to just see you as a friend. Um, they're getting really turned on by you. Like, if you guys work together, however, they'll keep getting gravitated towards you. They're listening to music, listening to you, uh, listening to you. Oh, they're, they, they, um, there's something about music that maybe they feel, um, rem they're getting really nostalgic even. And it's like, uh, some of you, you're getting close to the point where maybe you would separate with one another, maybe graduation or like you work together and like they, it's like, I can't like not tell you this. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So yeah, um, we do see in the second week, right? Right around Valentine's day. Um, they may be thinking of approaching you with something here. They have to communicate. I see their throat chakra. Um, being especially activated at this time. Yeah, they're embarrassed even about something like... Some of you, maybe they even like feel... Like I say it again, like they feel kind of guilty that they are fantasizing about you. They maybe feel that you expect them to be like... I don't know, like maybe you're famous and you're always getting like hit on or something and like this person doesn't want to be that person. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Clear to the crown who is hitting on you and like you have to so-called watch out for them like they don't want to be that person <laughs> oh man cancer i'm seeing something about money specifically maybe you're very wealthy and like they don't want you to feel you can't that they're after your money i'm hearing that even okay so that's for someone very particular the seven of swords yeah some of you here they want you to see them as someone trustworthy and it's almost like but then they're hi them hiding how they feel about you makes them also feel in some sense like untrustworthy because they're not being totally honest. I think this is someone who needs to be honest. And that King of Wands energy is so strong, like fire energy, like fire cannot be concealed. So that's what I'm seeing. There's like also the sense of protective energy, like they want to protect you. They want to be with you and they don't want to leave a chance that someone else would hit on you. That's how I hear it. Maybe it's in the workspace or however in general, even if you're friends and you're like going out and getting food together, like they are always sort of thinking about what if, you know, what if someone like they cannot imagine someone else with you. So they want to shoot their shot. They want to claim you. They want to claim it. They want to make sure that they want to do what they can do, at least at this point. Like if let's say that you know, they didn't shoot their shot and then they saw you with someone else, they would feel like they lost their... Ch so there's... Okay. It seems there's there's pressure on this person to make something of these emotions they feel for you and they are in a bit of a 2020... Catch 2022. They have to uh, really uh, clear their mind and do what they feel is truly in alignment and not just uh, impulsive, okay? And yet also not inauthentic to what they're really feeling. So, yeah. Um, 
they want to be honest like hey i like you like this or hey i admire you i respect you return i see you in this way or in that way or uh, with potential um some of you here this is a really good friend who knows a lot about you and um they were a good friend but it's like they want to be more so that's what i'm getting we're gonna disperse this out a little bit further um on members as well so join us there in the weekly read But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, cancer, you, you, those first two weeks are really what spirit wants to sort of accent. Um, and again, we'll take a deeper dive on members with the rest of this month.